Time to get you up to speed on some of the other big stories we're following this afternoon. We now know the name of the victim from a deadly shooting at a Phoenix apartment complex. Police say the body of a 41-year-old Gwen Dansel was found in the complex parking lot near 27th Avenue in Roosevelt. We still don't know what led to this shooting, and police say the person responsible is still on the loose. A mother from Mesa is under arrest this afternoon after she was accused of leaving her children in a hot car while she went grocery shopping. Police say the 24-year-old woman, Jamie Castle, admitted to leaving her two babies in the backseat of the unlocked car in the parking lot of a Safeway. They also say even though the car was running, the air conditioning wasn't working and one of the infants was in a car seat that wasn't properly secured. They say Castle doesn't have a valid license and had several felony warrants at the time of her arrest. There's another big brush fire burning in North Phoenix. The Pinnacle Peak Fire, it's called, has grown to between 50 and 100 acres. Firefighters tell us it isn't threatening any homes, but they have closed Pinnacle Peak Road and Tatum Boulevard as crews continue to work the fire. An animal rights organization, PETA, wants Starbucks to stop charging extra for vegan milk. They've launched an online petition asking the coffee chain to remove its surcharge for dairy-free milk. So far, nearly 50,000 people have signed the petition. PETA says Starbucks should be encouraging people to choose the vegan options. And now, you're up to speed.